Tackle Junkies, what's going on? MTB Unboxing coming at you guys today. Keep a lookout for the Pro Unboxing as well. Then guys, next month, March, we'll be doing slams, guys. I am so pumped for that. This tackle room is a freaking disaster. I need to get the boat loaded up. All my gear came in, super pumped for that. For, for those of you that don't know, this channel is now sponsored by Okuma. Check that out, guys. I even got into the swim bait game. I got the Komodo here. We got a swim bait rod. I don't know if you guys can see through all the uh, the other rods here in front, but that back row, those are all my new rods there. If you guys can even see here, we got a stack of new reels too. Super pumped about that. I'll be doing a updated rod and reel arsenal video for you guys, and you guys love those videos. We got a couple of the uh, casking rod racks to hold all my new gear. I am freaking pumped. But like I said, I am just waiting on. The, uh, the, the proof from Vinyl Images. They're doing my tailgate as well, redoing that, and they're putting the numbers on the boat. I already got the tires on the trailer, so I'm good to go. I'll pick up my tags this week. As soon as they send me the proof and I approve it, I'm going to make my appointment, get the uh, tailgate wrap on, put the numbers on, then I'm legal and get on the water. So like I said, hopefully, uh, hopefully this week, I'm hoping, next week I'm on the water. Like I said, we got a small cold front coming in. It's gonna be maybe 40s, 50s, but right now we're like in the 70s, so I mean, Water temp should be rising, fish should be biting, and I am pumped. You know, so anyways, let's get this unboxing um, started here. And like I said, keep a lookout next month for those slams. This is the Slim Shad D9 by Lucky Craft. This goes for $15.99. So we got some specs on here. Pearl Threadfin Shad, great color for me. Some rattles. I would toss this on one of two rods. If I'm going to use it kind of like a jerk bait. I would toss this on a, um, my jerk bait rod this year will be a 6.6 TCS. It's got that softer action to it, or I'd put it on like a 7 foot, that medium plus crank around that I like so much. But uh, probably 10 to 12 pound test fluorocarbon and like uh, 6 to 7 speed reel, just depending on how I'm working the bait. If I'm using it as a jerk bait, I'd probably use that 7 speed. If I'm going to try and crank it down, you know, I'd use that 6 speed. But um, great little color there. Pearl Threnfid. Thread fin shad by Lucky Craft again. That goes for $15.99. Then we have the Kraken jerk bait by Lunker Hunt. Oh, that's cool. 3.75 of an inch, so three and three quarters, half ounce weight, zero to six point five feet. Floating. It's got erratic action to it. Kind of looks like a colors make it rain. I don't say kind of like a baby bass type pattern. There it is there in the package. That goes for $3.99. That's pretty cheap for a jerkbait. There's there in the package. I will throw this on that 6.6 crankbait jerkbait rod, 7-speed reel, and probably 10-12-pound test floor carbon. Mono if I wanted to stay. It's a little bit shallower. And even then, you can use your line to adjust your depth if you want it to run really shallow. Like I said, I think it goes to uh, six and a half feet. If you want it to run just a few foot, you know, put on, you know, 15, 20 pound mono. You can do the same with fluorocarbon. It's a sinking line, but still, if you use a higher pound test, it'll still stay shallower. Just all depends what you want to do with the bait. This one sounds like it's got rattles, which it does. Nice looking bait. Kind of hard to believe it's only uh, four bucks. Pretty slick. Again, that goes for three ninety nine. Then we have the stick worm by Bruiser Baits. Looks like a watermelon red color. This is a one two four pack for two dollars fifteen cents. They're just there in the package. Stick baits, I mean, typically I just rig them weightless, just pitch them around, you know, lay downs and then brush, things like that. And you can put a stick bait on a, a shaky head, you can cut it down, put it on a Ned rig. I mean, me personally, just going to be um, just a Texas rig, pitch it around. Now this one really seems really light. You may want a small sinker on the front of your um, your hook there. I'd probably use like a 4 to 5 out extra wide gap hook. Maybe uh, use like a 16th ounce to an 8th ounce uh, tungsten weight, watermelon red. And like I said, just pitch that around, uh, lay downs, brush, grass, things like that. Wacky rig, obviously, is great for a stick bait as well. I don't do a ton of wacky rigging. I personally would just Texas rig this and pitch it around. But great wacky rig uh, bait as well. I'd put that on 
Uh, if you're going really light, you know, you may need uh, some spinning gear, you know, medium light to a medium power. Uh, you know, anywhere from, again, it depends on what you're doing in the bait. If you're going wacky rig and all that, maybe anywhere from 8 to 12 pound test, depending on what you're doing with it. Um, you know, if I'm going to Texas rig this, I put this on probably 7 foot medium heavy. I'd probably run a 12 pound test, 12 to 15 pound test. You know, Seaguar, you, you have to think Seaguar has that small diameter to it, so you can get away with heavier pound test line. And 15 is pretty small, so 12 to 15 pound test fluorocarbon. Probably, you know, eighth ounce weight or so. And um, like I said, just pitch that around. You know, six speed, seven speed reel. But many different rigging options for stick bait. All right, then we have the, do we have here? Swimming craw, big by baits. This looks like a six pack. Could be a full pack here for 349. Color is pearl. Swimming craw. I love throwing a swimming craw, especially in that stained and muddy water. Um, you know, I would put this on. Yeah, there it is there in the package. I'd put this on a swim jig, or I put that uh, just as a Texas rig. You could use that um, swimming claw. You could even use that like as a spinnerbait trailer or something like that. But me personally, I would go for a swim jig trailer or just a Texas rig first. And um, for my swim jigs, I like a heavy power rod, seven foot heavy power. I like 50 pound braid and like a six speed or seven speed reel. Texas rig, I put that on a medium heavy, uh, probably four aught mustad grip pin hook, one of those swim grip pin hooks. Uh, probably a quarter ounce weight, 15 pound fluorocarbon, and um, you know, six speed, seven speed reel. White's a great color in the fall as well. Imitates those shad. Really looks like a net bay pack of crawl. A swim jig trailer, or just a good old Texas rig swimming around. And last up, we have the KVD Triple Grip Hooks. This goes for $2.99. This looks like a three pack. Size six. Size six is what I like to use for the um, bomber squares. Now, if you leave the stocks, the uh, I've talked about this in many other videos. If you leave the stock split rings, size six will tangle on a bomber square. So I like to downsize those split rings to a size two, and then upsize my hooks to the size six short shanks. This appears to be a short shank. Tangled here. Oop. I'm gonna grab that one before I get up my foot. There we go, size six, short chain treble. I got a video as well I'll put down in the description on how to uh, swap off the treble hooks. And then from there we have we have that's a cool looking sticker. Catch co sticker. Then of course the Dibble Digest. Five best ways to fish a jerk bait: go slow for bluegills, crankbaits 101, banging cover. So definitely check that out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep a lookout for the pro unboxing, and then keep a lookout next month for those MTB slams. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon.